Okay, we're gonna do some puzzles. this just a little bit. Okay. Perfect. What do we got? A case of the blues. So I'm actually settling down myself right now. Oh, wait a minute. Saw. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. That's a word. Yeah, I'm settling down myself. I actually have a big cup of tea, some lavender chamomile tea. And I'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit. So that I can be Sleep in myself. So I went out today, did a few things. But I went to the zoo as well. Yes, I went to the Bronx Zoo. And I believe it just opened back up maybe a couple of weeks now. I'm not really too big on animals being out of their natural habitat, however, um, I do enjoy going to see animals, and it's the closest I'm going to get to 90% of the animals that are in the zoo. So, it's always a good time for me when I go and um, today was interesting I think because of COVID I'm not sure I probably should have asked someone but there was a lot of the animals that were not there to um, go online and get tickets online I don't think they're doing like a um, where you can just show up so I did that and then you you set a time as well you pick a time and I believe they give you an hour for you to get there at that time so if you pick like 12 you should get there be between 12 and 1 and there's no time limit as to how long you can stay in there, but you do have to have a mask on and practice social distancing. <laughs> um, and, um, oh, so cute. When I was getting tickets online, they asked if you want to buy a mask. It's so cute. It's like a tiger or something like that, face mask, it was adorable. But I have enough mask already. 
so yeah I went and it was it was great but yeah a lot of the animals were not there I know we um New York kind of had really bad rainy weather so I was wondering if that contributed to it as well and I think it did I think it, I think it contributed to some of the animals not being there but I also think it might have to do with COVID as well So like giraffes and uh, lions and yeah usually I always see the lions, lions, zebras, deers, a lot of the animals are not there. They have a mouse house and you can go in and see all the type of, um, you know, those type of animals. And I believe like a reptile house as well, you see all the snakes, things like that. Uh, lizards and all of that but that was actually closed as well so I'm definitely gonna go before the summer's over for sure maybe they'll have more animals but um aside from not having the regular animals they usually have there. I noticed there was barely any employees. Actually, for a while, um, even after the zoo closes at five, five, we were kind of almost at five o'clock. We were still kind of walking around and wandering around. There really, really wasn't any um, much employees. We ended up leaving a little bit after 5 o'clock. And um, it kind of just felt like a hike at a certain point. <laughs> there was just like trails. I don't even remember there being so many trails at the Bronx Zoo. I go there every year, multiple times. There were so many trails today. I felt like we were hiking. But it was very nice because it was not crowded. Not crowded at all. You can walk through the trails and not see people or anything. It felt like you were hiking. It felt like you were in the woods. It was really, really nice and peaceful. And um, even though I was really hearted, even though I didn't see as many animals as usual, it was really nice. I think especially the part about there be not being too many people. There really wasn't a lot of people at all. It's the summertime, usually the zoo is packed. So that felt really nice. And um, we even sat down to eat and there was actually tables available. <laughs> I've been trying not necessarily to spend money, you know, definitely not at this time, but I've been trying to just sort of put, I know a lot of businesses have taken a hit and things like that. Um, so any place I visited, I try to support, you know, support what I could. with what I can do so um, but yeah it's it was decent it was nice I usually I try to vlog and, and get content sometimes but most of the time I will start recording and then just stop because I kind of I just like Um, just being in that moment, you know? It sounds a little cheesy, but you see, you start recording, then you start seeing something exciting, and it's like, okay, wait, 
Let me put my phone down. Let me put my camera down, you know. But I was actually testing out this little mini camera. Do I have it next to me? I do not. I wish I brought it next to me to show you guys. I was testing it out today. I felt like today was perfect to test it out because it was nice and sunny. I was outside a good amount of time and um, I was actually doing something, you know, besides running errands or something boring. But I was trying out this new camera as well. So I have a lot of footage on there. Depending on if I can make it into a video, I may just make it into a little mini zoo video. But I got home and I was exhausted. And ate, took a shower, and just relaxed. Just did some work on my laptop, but really just took it easy. And now, after this, I'm gonna go to sleep. What's the daytime talkers? Okay. I've heard of some of these people, some I have not. Dominion. I had also got tickets to the Botanical Gardens today because it's right across the street from each other, the zoo and the Botanical Gardens. And I hadn't been to the Botanical Gardens in a very, very, very long time. And I've just been wanting to go, but um, I did not have time. I kind of was behind schedule today. So we ended up just going to the zoo instead. Goldberg. But I'm for sure gonna go next week to the Botanical Gardens. With the Botanical Gardens, it was the same thing. You had to go online and get tickets. They only let a certain amount of people in the zoo and the Botanical Gardens. I'm not really sure how, how much people they let in, but I know the zoo was not crowded at all today. Felbin. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, so I'll go to Botanical Gardens next week. Hopefully the weather is nice. And I'm actually finally gonna go to the beach this week as well. I'm excited about that. I haven't been to the beach actually in a couple of years as well. I'm looking for Oz. Such a simple word can find. So I'm gonna go this week. I'm looking forward to that. I don't tan <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I think I haven't been to the beach in so long it 
is I don't really tan like that. It's sort of just like hanging out on the beach. Ray. But when I was younger, that was my main purpose of going to the beach. Just going to the beach and just basking in the sun. Stuart Winfrey, Stuart, Stuart. Just in my chair. I'm looking for, I don't know how you say this, props. Props. Wow, I really can't find this word. Okay, so let's look. Is that the last one? The generous. Let's look for the, the generous first. And then we'll see if we can find the other one. Hmm. It's somewhere over here, right? Yes. Go. So I'm gonna look for BST because I was looking for pro. Oh, I did find it. Wow, I found it and didn't cross it out. Okay, that's what happens when I start yapping. All right, I'm gonna do this last one. I'm gonna sip some of my tea real quick. I drink a lavender chamomile and when I tell you that tea knocks you out, it actually does work. Skydiving. I've been wanting to skydive for years. I'm still too scared, I think. At first I was at first I was like oh I want someone to come with me in reality I was just like scared to go by myself roller skating that's another thing I'm gonna do this summer roller skating weight lifting right yeah these are indoor sports, yes. I'm not sure when we'll be able to do indoor sports. Cause I do wanna go um, bowling as well. Yeah, so if you drink tea, I highly recommend lavender chamomile tea. I personally like loose tea as opposed to uh, tea bags. I forgot the tea brand I get. I get multiple tea, loose tea brands, but this lavender chamomile tea, I've I've gotten quite a few flavors from them and I liked it. Then 
dancing. But that tea will knock you out. Volleyball. Skating. Figure skating. are fun. I haven't played darts or like pool in quite some time as well. Handball, wow. Haven't played handball in a very long time as well. If you're from New York, then you really know like handball was the thing. Racquetball. I never play racquetball. I don't even know if I quite know what it is fully. Swimming. Oh, I'm done already. You know what? I will do one more actually. That one was fast. So, out at the bar. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Cheers, community. Fun. Yes, it is fun. Wine. Friends. Also this month, I have so many um, people in my life who have birthdays, so it's like insane. I feel like this month is just jam-packed with social activities and just things I have to do in general. But trust, I'm gonna find time to record. Martini. A gin martini used to be my favorite drink. Gin martini dry with a twist. Up, fight songs. But I haven't, I haven't drunk gin in, in so long. I'm really a lightweight now. I could one or two glasses of wine and that's it for me. Games. Party shouting specials. Sports. Someone told me today, I think basketball, they started the season again, correct? I'm not sure. But someone told me that they actually have fake audience, like a digital audience or something like that. I just thought that was hilarious because you can't, they can't have, um, and you know, a jam packed full of people for the basketball games. But, I, I mean, I guess it, it sounds kind of awkward, right? Basketball, watching basketball without, like, commentary and without the crowd clapping or cheering and stuff. It just sounds awkward without that.
happy hour happy hour cheers bar food alcohol Let's look for bar food. Oh, found happy hour. And party. TVs. It's literally three letters. Here we go. TVs. So we got bar food left, drinks, community, and shouting. <laughs> no dancing? I mean, out at the bar, no dancing. Okay, I guess bar food is going to be last. Oh no, it's right here. You know, I kept looking over here, but I kept looking at this. Now we got community. Where is community? Let's look for immunity. Yep, there we go. Usually I try to find half the word if I can't find the whole word. And that helps. That's it, we're done. Okay, look, and we're almost we're almost done with July because we're now in August, so I'm very behind. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. I hope you are relaxed. Or maybe you're already asleep, hopefully, right? And I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye.